Hey everyone, real quick, just wanted to apologize for the lack of daily videos. Who knew that adding another baby to the family would be so much harder? I also wanted to thank all of you who recently donated to me on PayPal or subscribed to me on Patreon. Since I'm no longer monetized, it's increasingly difficult for me to spend the time needed to produce these videos. If you want to help me and help this channel to grow, I need your support. Please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or just sending me a small donation through PayPal. Thank you. The future of the Democratic Party and it's Mayor Pete. This guy is going to play an important role in the mainstreaming, <clears throat> the mainstreaming of the Democratic Party. Who are we talking about today? Mayor Pete Buttigieg. But gay, but G Buttigieg, I, I guess it's pronounced Buttigieg. What's up with these people's names? We're just going to call him butt keg. I guess when you're so far left that you defend violent communist terrorist groups, then anyone slightly to the right of you would appear centrist. That's what we're dealing with today. After a recent Democrat convert, Joe Scarborough insisted that butt keg is some kind of middle of the road Democrat party savior. When in fact, he's exactly the same as every other far left Democrat running in the 2020 Abolish Democrat the primary. electoral college. That is exactly what he Pack does. Regardless the Supreme of Court ideology, with liberals. Mayor Pete. No government limitations on abortions Wait, at any that? time. That's regardless of ideology. Citizenship for illegal How immigrants. Convenient. So how about that? AOC's Joe Scarborough just made up a brand deal. new standard for judging how extreme or moderate a politician is without taking their ideology into consideration at all. I wonder if there's any Republican who could be far right but still centrist because you're not judging them based on their ideology. Obviously, I cannot play you the whole clip thanks to YouTube's new reuse rules, but I can assure you that during this segment, at no point does Joe Scarborough bring up any of Butt Cake's policy positions. He doesn't discuss a single one because to do so would be to admit that he's just another far less socialist. How about we take a look at some of those policy positions right now? Oh yeah, nothing screams centrist like rigging the system for Democrats, aborting fully developed babies, and replacing capitalism with socialism. Besides the fact that Buck Cake's policies are way outside of the mainstream, he himself is pretty far out of the mainstream. Understand, I'm not saying this as an attack on gay people. I have no problem with gay people. But that lifestyle is not mainstream. It's practiced by a very tiny 3.5% of people in this country. The percentage may be higher now in 2019, but it's still a very small percentage of people. Gay people that get married are an even smaller percentage, making up only a third of 1% of people in this country. And nothing at all mainstream about that. How could such a small percentage of people be considered mainstream? The mainstream of America, the vast majority of people support capitalism. They do not support getting rid of the electoral college. They don't support AOC's new green deal, and they most definitely do not support late term abortions. You would never know that by watching our Democrat party media. They want everybody thinking socialist gay dudes are the vast majority of America. However, you would not have known that by watching this socialist Democrat on Fox's town hall with Chris Wallace the other day. Wallace served up a bunch of softballs to Buck Keg and didn't even defend his colleagues when Buck Keg began attacking them. Where that's coming from, especially when you see what goes on with some of the opinion hosts on this network. Tucker Carlson saying that immigrants make America dirty. There is a reason why anybody has to swallow hard and think twice before participating in this media ecosystem. But Pathetic. He didn't even push back when Buck Keg was attacking his colleagues. And there's plenty to push back against. For example, illegals are flooding our country and they are flooding our cities, making them more poor and dirtier. I don't say this as an attack on illegal immigrants, even though I don't agree with them being in my country illegally. It's simply the reality of the situation. California is a sanctuary state that leads the country in poverty and in the number of illegal immigrants, around 10 million. Go to San Francisco and you're going to find two things in abundance, human feces and tent cities filled with illegal immigrants. But unfortunately, instead of doing his job, Wallace seemed more interested in kowtowing to Democrats. With on-the-spot fact-checks being all the rage, why didn't Wallace even attempt to push back? 
it would seem that he has joined the resistance in the effort to get a Democrat elected in 2020. If you think watching Fox is any different from watching CNN, now you know better. Turn off your TV and I'll watch the media so you don't have to.